Hey everybody, it's Nick and Jay, and we are back from Button Willow Raceway for the Button Turbo event. And, uh, you know, this track is right by I-5, and we stay at a luxury uh, motel. It is like a resort spa casino, really. It's got a great uh, ambiance. Good uh, views. It's got a view. It's, it's quiet. Yeah. yeah. Now, Crazy Mike and Amanda, they showed up. They pulled this uh, mini hot rod that they've had for 20 years, pulled it out, got it ready to go. Had Pankle put a cage into this thing. That wasn't weird enough, but because the car is purple, they made raisin suits for everybody. Amanda made those by hand. Those were totally sweet. Yeah, she must have spent days making these suits, and, uh, you know, it would have been rewarded if the car ran, which it did. Which it did. Raisin cookie, sir? Speaking of small things, uh, this team, the Cow Marrow, made a remote control mini go kart slash boombox. And let me tell you, that this thing is great. Hella sweet. Hella sweet. Now, we had a bunch of new judges in this thing. We are such a professional organization, they could step right in. Look at these guys. I mean, this is judicial thinking at its finest. Yeah, and so this group included Tim O'Dell from Hooniverse, Jason Torchinski from Jalopnik, and Sean Rogers, Anorexia Survivor. And uh, Jason came up with this great penalty. Hey, dude, you, you know, you spun out, you're running a little hot. You're a little stressed. A little, little uh, too much aggression. Uh, I've got these ingredients, and I'm going to have your team make you a relaxing oh, facial. That's Dramatic. a difficult thing for anyone to go through. Also, being a little worked up, so Dave Montoya and his Mustang team, I don't even know the name of that team, they turned the crank and kabam! Like that one bolt that Dave dropped down the motor and didn't yeah. know where it went, turns out yeah. right through a water jacket. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was not well, good. Well, and because he waited until the end, he also delayed the end of the yeah. race and <laughs> yeah. screwed up, you know, screwed up our whole <laughs> flow with the tow truck and thanks, Dave. Yeah, we're totally sweet, man. Totally so, great. That obviously was not the heroic no. fix, but I'll tell you what was. The OM Shenanigans BMW 735i. Manual. Manual. Fine. Yeah. Fine car. Yeah. So, sure enough, a couple hours in the race, the race car's engine blows up. <laughs> and uh, so they pull in, oh man, what are we going to do about a spare engine? As they slowly <laughs> turn to their teammate's street car sitting there. And he's like, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey man, uh... Can we borrow your engine for a little while? And he agreed to it. The thing ran and ran and ran, and then, oh, hey, here it comes. It's it's blowing smoke everywhere. They've totally blown up this poor guy's street motor. Nope, it was just an oil cooler line. Plug it back in, and it ran for the rest of the race. Judge's choice was the Paso Robles Commando Squad. Yeah, this is a whole team. They're all active duty military. They actually got leave to go build this horrible little golf. Got out. They drove clean. They did not bother anybody. They had a great attitude. They fixed everything. Love those guys. Organizer's Choice went to Super Troop, and their car and team, of course, themed like the Super Troopers movie. Now, this isn't the first one of these to come to Lemons. Uh, in fact, we've had at least three Super Troopers themes. Um, and, you know, I kind of like the idea of having, like, sort of a Super Troopers arms race. Whereas, oh, man, that team in California. They got a bear. They have the bear. Anyway, that's sort of my daydream that happens in the back of my head. So, these guys have a Mercury Zephyr. And uh, they were in theme, in character, for the entire race, for the entire weekend. Everybody's in costume. Just fantastic. And, you know, they were really a key part of what was an incredible pit scene That's true. for the entire event. So, you know, the Super Troopers are out there with the bear. They got their siren. Our old friends in the Nian car, which still doesn't get old. I don't know why not, but that thing continues to be hilarious. And then Cerveza Racing, who, of course, won the race. Uh, they're around giving free beer out of the built-in tap out of the back of their BMW. All of us at Lemons HQ always have such brilliant ideas safe, no possibility of failure. Yeah. There were two cars in this race that could be hand crank started. And so uh, we came up with the great idea of having a Le Mans style hand crank race. So so this plan was going great until about two tenths of a second into the event when uh, Spank kind of bumped into Alan and he immediately just totally ate it onto the <laughs> pavement. So Alan broke this fall 100% with his left thumb, which bent back at a 140 degree <laughs> angle. Uh, but the silver lining was that he did not get impaled through the neck with a Humber Super Snipe hand crank. Well, the other the other silver line is he got a trophy out of this deal. Uh, he, yeah. yeah, he got the better luck next time trophy because this is the second Humber Super Snipe station wagon to run in Lemons. I'd give that car one more race. I've got you! And that brings us to the IOE. <laughs> Michael Spangler, a.k.a. Spank, Spank. 
he's got all kinds of crazy lemons ideas, and he happened across a Renault 10, which uh, of course was licensed built in Romania as the Dacia 1100. Everybody knows yeah, that, of course. And so, spending on a Romanian car, uh, I'm gonna do a Romanian like potato farmer theme, and he's got the dirty wife beater, uh, the sort of suspenders, and you know, the, the farmer pants, and then uh, live goats and chickens. He's got his own six-year-old son uh, playing the part of the Romanian gypsy pickpocket. <laughs> and uh, the car, which had to be started by a hand crank, as we know, um, just kind of ran. And, yeah. you know, that and the Humber just finished in the middle of this pack. And Spank, because he had frickin' farm animals, <laughs> wins the grand prize of them all, the Index of Effluency. Now it's time for Lemons in a Nutshell. That just takes us to the winners now of the race, and really, meh. <laughs> I have bought a hot rod. <laughs> She's my new personality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, all right. All right. Okay. <laughs> my new car has high control. <laughs> <laughs> the top is made of fiberglass. <laughs> <laughs>